Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, The California Beekeeper, I'm Jose. We are here in Williams, California, gearing up. We're gonna go feed a couple bees, do a little dusting, and check how things are. I'll give you guys a quick look at the almond bloom. It's almost here. Buds are swelling. It is a great 65 degree day today, so should be fun. Well, this is fun. I always love the spring. By the way, we got Corey here. He's a new member on the team. So we're excited to be growing and excited to have Corey on this California bee team. Well, this usually means that they graded it. Let's take a quick look, see if it's looking okay. Pretty good. Good flight, nice warm day. Let's take a look. I saw another one over here. It could have been, there it is, that one right there. So, we just want to look, see where the ones that got graded, um, see what it's looking like. We always want to make sure that it's good bees. Corey, got Corey here helping me out. Not bad. We're just checking beehives. Doing some feeding. These girls are feeling really light. So we want to get every drop that we can in that feeder. Just to take advantage of this bloom. Because once that bloom hits, these bees, the queen, just go crazy. And I'll have to make a video on just, you know, just take a look at this. All right, guys, there are going to be busting, exploding with, with just bees, new bees. Best feeling in the world. So when they come in grade, I get this question a lot. They come in grade, they typically will tilt a hive up, look at the bottom. They count the coverage. So there we're looking at one, two, three, four. And that's just me being uh, strict on the grade. Four. One, two, three, four. We could say five, really. Down here, this is one, two, three, four, five. We could say maybe a half. And if they wanted to really even look in the top, that's another five. So we're looking at at worst, a nine frame hive right here. Uh, but some would say 10, we'll call in it a nine. I like to see what she's doing. See that nice ring pattern? We'll shake these bees off. Good pattern there. We wanna see that half moon circular thing. She's just laying and there's hatch out. So we're looking pretty good. All this here laid out, even in the perimeter with the feed should give these queens really ramped up. We thinned out the syrup a little bit on about a 
<laughs> on a 65 gallon tank we ended up putting five gallons of water just to dilute it a little just a hair thin it out the reason why we thin it out is to duplicate that nectar that, that texture of the nectar and when you have that it triggers something on the bees to really just start cranking it and going to town and the queen just goes berserk well we're really happy how the bees look so far so good bees are are just blowing up got Corey over there working really hard he's, he's awesome. so a lot of you guys might be asking why are you putting pollen when you have this almond pollen coming in well we're not in bloom yet so it's important that we give these bees some good nutrition and keep that queen lane because we are trying to get some bulk bees out of these colonies also to make up new uh, hives dead outs uh, we call them dead outs when we have winter loss and we make those up in the spring so it's very important for us to really maximize this bloom giving them that jump start with that pollen and these are the global patties that we're using this time normally you would see the nutri which i still love but it's what we had Hope you guys enjoying this video if you haven't already subscribed to this channel go down below smash that subscribe button give us a big thumbs up on this video guys well we are heading into town to go meet my buddy don bryant and uh an old friend ken smith go have lunch at grenzella's so if you're ever out here in grit in uh, williams california you have to check out grenzella's it is definitely a williams historical uh, restaurant here it's just uh, it's good food good place to shop get a couple gifts well sorry guys we are here at Grenzella's we already had lunch I totally forgot to bring the GoPro with me but anyhow let me tell you about this hamburger it was delicious now we're heading back to go wrap it up and close these hives and close this video we'll see you guys back at the orchard Let's go see what Corey's up to over here. How's it going, Corey? It's going good. How's the bees looking? Looking good. Woo! Real good. All right. Sometimes you just gotta have a little fun and get things done and work, 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 work. Well, we are here at our very, very last drop. I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Oh, and it's just for those that don't know, these are flags. These are where your drops go. Um, and sometimes they'll show that it's for the inside row. Let me see, maybe it's on this side. Oh. No, it's just a marker for this side. So these, you know, it'd be something very noticeable in the dark. This reflects off the lights. Great. Let's see if we see any pollen 
coming in on these girls. Here and there, you will see some of these girls with pollen, but there is not much out there. Um, as far as this orchard, there's very little. Here and there, you'll see some buds that are popped, but nothing that, nothing to uh, get these girls really rolling. So that's why we're putting the pollen. So I wanted to show you guys real quick, just a, a full palette and just a quick, rough visual grade. Here, looking at, we'll say a one, two, three, four, five. Let's check the top. Okay. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and share. Uh, we love hearing from you guys. And I hope you guys gathered any some tips, tricks on how we do things, why we do things, putting pollen, why we do it, and even going over the grading system that they do out here in, uh, in California for the almond pollination. So it's always important for us to really execute in what we do and really just bring quality bees for these growers because they had a rough year last year with the frost losing crops. So we really, we take a lot of pride in providing good quality bees. That is it guys, rock and roll. We'll see you on the next one.